What is motivating them? If it's not making money, what are the key things that they're really looking for when you stand in front of them? If your agenda is, I want to raise money for you, what's going what to what, what's gonna trigger a positive response? Well, I'm not sure I concur that they're not looking to make money. Uh, so uh, all, all the families I've ever been involved with are always looking to make a return on their investment. So the question isn't, are you looking to make money or not? The question is, what is it that you're looking to make relative to um, your family's needs? Because you know, some, some people may be looking to hit it out of the uh, park as a home run. They're looking for private equity where they are in control and they can hit a grand slam. Others may be looking for yield to balance out the risk of what they've got in a family business. Some may be looking for yield in what I'll call a sort of fixed income scenario. Others may have no capacity to invest in equities and are looking for a balanced portfolio so that the income can be uh, tripped into trusts. Uh, Some may be uh, looking to build a real estate portfolio up as a counter to the family business and are looking for long-term appreciation um, as opposed to a lot of income. Um, So I've just given you, Adam, four scenarios. And so everybody's got a different need. The key question is, what is it you're looking for? Um, And then you can start to address whether the asset that somebody's trying to raise fits that need. Because if I came to you and I said, you know, I've got a great deal. You put in $3 million and we're going to raise $10 million and I expect to get out of this in four years and you're going to get a 40% return. And I don't know you. Um, you may say, you know, I, I, I just don't want to take that sort of risk. If, if I lose that sort of money, I've got to be answerable to the family. We're a conservative investor. Uh, that's not our bag of tricks. Um, and so... Understanding what drives a family and what they're looking for is really critical and and everyone's different. That's why I was saying you have to invest the time and that's what private bankers do. A really good private banker invests the time to build a relationship so that they have the deep discussions. They understand the insecurities. They understand the the desires. They understand who else is a decision maker. Who's going to be um, the children, somebody who's going to have a seat at the table. How do you get everybody together so when the opportunity to invest is made it becomes one that everybody is happy with 